am interviewing Jason and Cecilia Hilke, and they are the founders of the Happily Family Conference, and I am so glad you guys are here. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for inviting us, Jackie. Happy to talk to you. Great to be here. Oh, you're welcome. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about Jason and Cecilia, and then I'm going to ask you guys some questions. So Jason reached out to me a month or so ago to ask if I would help share the Happily Family Conference with the people who listen to the podcast and follow Homeschool Think Tank. And so, of course, I went, and I went to their website and I looked at things and I thought, oh, yes, this looks good. Of course I'll do that. So I, then uh, I, I responded to you guys and, and I have to say, I am impressed. You have half a million people attending this conference. They're in their eighth year of doing the conference and they have some of the biggest names in education and parenting speaking at this conference. And if I'm correct, you have around 25 people this year speaking. Is that right? Yes. yes. Yep, we do. Wow. So tell me a little bit before we get going on this, what is the Happily Family Conference and why did you start it? Sure. Go start. Sure. Well, Jason and I both have a background in education and we're parents ourselves of two teen daughters. And when we were, and we've also homeschooled a little bit, uh, one of our daughters. And the teaching and we did was in an alternative school that was very similar to homeschooling. So that's yeah, why we very actually self-directed, um, emergent project curriculum, based. project based. So we are very passionate about education and parenting. Um, and we realized really early on with our own children and with um, the teaching that we did that parents need more help, that it's not easy and how hard it was to find resources and to figure out, um, A, like how do we get to a parenting class or how do we read a book when we've got young kids at home uh, and like how do we have time to do all the other things in life? So um, quickly we figured out that i just want to say i still yeah. try and figure out how i'm gonna have time in my life and we have <laughs> yes. teenagers at home right now so it's not just about having the younger kids like it's still a busy time it's, absolutely so how old are your kids can i ask oh sure they're 15 and 16. Oh, two girls I we lived closer i have a 13 and a 15 year old well i have 13 and 15 year old kids <laughs> so two daughters too yes, like you, you. <laughs> yeah. so we we thought well what if we started interviewing other experts um, and helped connect authors, speakers, researchers, um, parenting experts with the people, uh, whether they're parents or teachers or therapists that need them the most. And that is how the Happily Family Conference was born. And we've been really excited to offer it because it is a free resource for anybody who wants to hop on for five days. They can access uh, five speakers each day uh, during the conference. And it's just been wonderful to see how warm and welcoming the parenting community is, um, the impact that it's making. Uh, it's just been really delightful. Yeah, the impact it's making globally. I think that's the thing that really gets us is that, you know, we, we do this, some of it's because we really enjoy talking to these people. And, you know, we, we just invite people that we find interesting and we want to have great conversations with. And then people show up and get to listen to those. And we get to share those with people from around the world. And I think that's the thing that really blows me away is all of these people from uh, places that I've never been, places I have to actually look at a map to figure out where, they're, where they live and that they don't have access to books. They don't have access to speakers. They don't have access to training materials or even uh, classes. And so they use this free resource as a way to grow personally and professionally. And uh, it's, it's, it's an honor to be able to share that and also to be lifting up these people, these authors, these experts that are in the conference and lifting them up and exposing them to uh, an audience that they may not necessarily be, be able to reach all the time. You guys, I think what you're doing is awesome. I am. I am. I'm nearly speechless here, and I'm very impressed with what you're doing. So I know uh, one of the speakers that you have, I'm actually taking a course from her right now, and I had the pleasure of interviewing her a few months ago, Dana Abraham, and, and I, I have to admit, I, I've done almost all of the course, like listened to it all, but I barely made a dent in the actual implementation. But it's still, I, to me, when I learn from people and I take these courses, it's not a one and done deal. 
I go back and I re-listen. Some of the videos I've listened to multiple times, but I will re-listen and re-listen over months and even years because, or reread a book because it really is so helpful to me. And I think that there's probably a lot that I'm going to want to re-listen to later from your speakers. So, so I'm impressed with Dana Abraham and I, I was just exposed to her in August. I, I had the pleasure of seeing her speak on stage in Canada and I am, I'm genuinely just blown away by her, by her work yes. and her reach. And, you know, she really, I know she really markets to parents with high needs kids, but, and I have a child who has some serious struggles and, and that's, I, I took her course for two reasons. One is to help my own family. And number two is if I'm going to help share what you're doing, I really want to feel so good about what you're doing. And I have to say, I feel so good about that. So to me, like I have that just so just enough familiarity with Dana. I'm like, Oh wow, you guys are amazing people. And I know some of your names. So like people are going to know some of the names here. So uh, I'm looking One of the at things my, no, I just say about, about Dana, Go ahead. you know, we're interviewing Dana again, and this time we actually uh, are talking with Dana and Jason, her husband. And although this conference is, uh, we, you know, we, we call it uh, mindful parenting for high needs kids. And uh, that's, that's the main theme of it. And high needs kids can be anything, right? Like the, there's mm -hmm. many kids that at different times in their lives can have high needs. And, um, mm -hmm. And the, the material that we cover, in, in particular, like with Jason and uh, Dana, Abraham, you know, we're talking about how to parent with a partner and how they, how they have done it, how they have figured that out, the challenges that they had in the process, how they kept on board, how they, you know, Jason was maybe came from a different background than Dana did. And how did they figure that out? And that's one of the most common things we hear from parents is like, how do I bring my partner on board? You know, they don't understand what I'm doing. How do they be a part of this and how do I include them? And so we talk about that in that interview in particular, um, but each interview has its own variety and its own topic. Um, so I, I just wanted to comment about Dana and Jason because that's a little bit of a different interview than what we've done with a lot of them. So I encourage people to check that one out. And they're free, like Cecilia said, they're free for these five days. And if people want to go back and re-listen to them, you know, after the five days, they can buy the recordings. And so we offer the recordings at a discount during the conference. So you can buy them and you can go back and re-listen to all 25 anytime for a lifetime. I'm pretty sure I will be buying the recording. So I, yeah, because like I said, I go back and I really do re-listen and re-listen to things that are so helpful to me. Some, <laughs> if you were to look at and track what I did, sometimes you'd be like, Boy, this lady's sort of slow. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that at all. I think it's really important. I often go back and reread and re-listen too because my kids are at different developmental stages. And mm -hmm. the stuff that I needed to hear uh, six months or two years ago is different than what I needed to hear now. So sometimes it's almost like listening to a different podcast or listening to a, mm -hmm. reading a different book because kids change so much and I change in my own understanding and my awareness and my ability to regulate my emotions. So, um, so I think it's really important that we give ourselves the freedom to go back and to review things. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I find that when I do re-listen, it's so funny how your mind just automatically gravitates to what you need in that moment. It's, you just zone out all the other things that you didn't really need but then you listen to it later and you're like, I don't remember hearing that part. And, but it jumps out at you because that's what you need right now. So exactly. tell me, who are some of the other speakers and tell me about them and are, are any of them homeschooling families or have they? Sure. Let sure. me just highlight the homeschooling. I'm looking at the list here because I can't keep track of all yeah. 25. We've done this so many times. We have like over 200 interviews having done this for, you know, this is our eighth conference. So I, I have trouble keeping track of everyone we've I got I want to just highlight the homeschooling uh, families or uh, experts in particular for your audience. Um, Dr. Peter Gray should be a familiar name. Um, he, mm -hmm. He's done a bunch of work with the Alliance for Self-Directed Education and I wrote the book uh, Free to Learn. Mm -hmm. um, and so we interviewed him. Uh, we other, also interviewed Iris Chen, who your audience might not be familiar with. She is a Chinese American who uh, mother who um, reads a leads a movement called Untigering, uh, and she's also an unschooling mom. So she has a very uh, special story about how she's 
untigering her kids and really even taking another step, giving them a lot of freedom and a lot of autonomy with their education. Mm -hmm. um, so she's great. Um, Danny, you already mentioned. Um, so at least, and we have also been very deeply involved in education and, and done a little bit of um, homeschooling our kids too. So at least those four. And the, we talk specifically about it with them, but any speaker, pretty much, I would say, it, it applies to homeschooling because homeschooling mm -hmm. is a lot about relationship with our kids. And so it's, it's really hard to be homeschooling and to just set aside the parenting relationship and be like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm just a teacher. It, that can be difficult to do. And so it's really about relationship and that is so much of what Happily Family is about, but it's also about what this conference is about, is how to put that relationship first, how to maintain that relationship when you're dealing with the tough stuff or when you're just dealing with day to day. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we've got, there's some, some themes that we talk about throughout this conference. Um, we talk about, on the first day, we're talking about mindful parenting uh, and looking at the bigger picture. On the second day, we're talking about being the adult you want uh, your child to become. Like, so that's yes, yes. That we need to <laughs> I get thought about doing a podcast about this, yeah. but go ahead. <laughs> yeah. And we've got, we have people like Kim John Payne that are part of that. Uh, Dr. Lynette Willis, Lynetta Willis, uh, Kelly Brogan, Dr. Susan Pollack. Um, and then on day three, we have self-regulation of emotions and screens. You know, our favorite topic, technology, because it's in all of our lives and it's a challenge. There's a lot of challenges around that. So we're talking to uh, people that you may know, like Dr. Laura Markham. Uh, we're talking to uh, Suzanne McDonald Tucker from Mind, uh, Generation Mindful, um, mm -hmm. Dr. Stuart Shanker. Um, anyhow, and then on day four, we've got toddlers and teens, how to thrive while growing up. And day five is practical tools for everyday life. Um, and I would say that that's not just for day five, but um, each of the sessions, each of these interviews that we do, we really want to make sure that it's practical, that people are having, you know, they're having this opportunity to listen to these conversations, but they're getting something really practical out of it. They, give, they leave those interviews and they're like, oh, that's something I can put into my life. That's something that I can do. And um, our idea is not to make it more stuff for us to do as parents and homeschoolers. We, the list is endless. In fact, we talk about this in several interviews. What can we do to just simplify and what are the things that we can put into place so that we're not constantly just adding on to our to-do list? Um, so we talk about that in the conference and uh, I, hopefully it gives some ease and some, uh, some, uh, some generosity to ourselves in, in those interviews. Yes, yes. Wow, so I am so excited about this. You guys have just amazing names. It must have taken years to probably get some of these people to speak. <laughs> with you and it, it, this doesn't just happen it, it's a lot of work to to create something like this so thank you so much for creating such an amazing opportunity i'm going to look at my list one more time because it's my and, glasses and Jackie, while you do that can i just share one of the stories oh I yes i was that was going to be next on my list is, who has this helped help? Sure. You, you thank us for, for doing this. And yet um, it's because we hear back from parents, the difference that it makes that we keep on um, hosting these conferences. And I will never forget, we, we heard from a mom, the very first conference that we did. And she said, I'm a homeschooling mom and I am listening to this conference. We're in the United States. And she said, I'm, I'm in uh, a little island off the coast of Greece. And it is illegal to homeschool in Greece. And your conference has given me the confidence to continue homeschooling my daughter here. So that's why we do it. It's because we care about education. We care about kids. We think that parenting is like the hardest, but the most revolutionary thing that we can do. We can do small acts of kindness with our children every day and to have the courage to homeschool is even like that much above and beyond uh, what a lot of parents do. So I have so much respect for your community, for the work that they do, how it is not easy, um, and how we hope that, that one of these, at least one of these interviews makes the job a little lighter, a little easier, more fun. Um, and so we're, we're happy to extend invitations to your 
community and, and anyone else who's interested. It's like we just sort of set the table and we just invite people to show up. And, you know, it, the reason it can be successful is because of the people that show up for it. And uh, there's uh, kind of two components to the conference. There's the interviews that, you know, you can watch every day. They're on the website. And there's a, a, a Facebook group that is a community. And that's and the last time I checked, there's like 22,000 people that are in this Facebook group that just are constantly supporting one another. It's like, it's so active, I can barely keep up with what people mm -hmm. post and how they're responding to each other. And they just find a community of like-minded people inside that group, and especially during the conference, but even outside the conference. And so I would encourage people, you know, if you come to the conference, also go check out the Facebook group, you'll get a link to it. And uh, just, you know, support other people and be supported in there, um, because that's what really makes this uh, the, the place that we really like to see. And, you know, this, this is the table we set, and we're just, uh, we appreciate other people showing up for it. Uh, I'm so grateful. I want to speak about your Facebook group for a moment. So I, this is sort of funny. I was barely even on social media two years ago. You could hardly find me. And now I'm all over the place. But I have found a lot of value in some of these Facebook groups. And it's really helpful. But I can tell you, so I didn't know you guys were doing a Facebook group. So I've actually already shared with some of the people at in homeschool think tank that we were going to do a watch party so if you have families especially homeschool families who don't do facebook they're welcome to come to homeschool think tank and join us for the watch party because we have our own platform our own membership too and so i i still have to figure out some of this stuff i don't know if that we'll be able to stream but we'll be able to watch it on your stuff but still be like commenting over inside homeschool think tank and then we have a homeschool think tank friends group too where I figured we'd do some watch parties from there from it as well but but clearly I'm going to be in yours too <laughs> I'm like how many be in all the watch parties at once I don't know but I'm going to figure this out because this is sort of cool and I'm glad that you have this so thank you for providing that group for people and yeah I I'm just excited about it so I guess that's probably about it here. Is there anything else that you want? Oh, I know. When is it? When is it? Tell us when it is. <laughs> Good question. That's, that's, so it's January 23rd. Yep, it's 23rd uh -huh. to the 27th. Um, each day, five different speakers, and it's free yep. for those five days. So I encourage you to sign up early. We actually give some sneak peeks. If you sign up early to it, we'll give you some sneak peeks beforehand. Uh, so you can sort of see what's coming, maybe see. We, sometimes we put up past uh, conferences, uh, some interviews from them. Uh, but it's during the 23rd through the 27th. And uh, yeah, you know, watch, watch parties are something people do, not just virtually, we have people around the world that do it uh, in person. Like there's schools who will reserve the library and they'll just open it up to parents during like an evening to just watch and discuss uh, one of the interviews. And, oh, and then I'm talking to like, our local librarian. I'm calling her. This is, she's great. <laughs> actually uh, buy the recordings. And then what they'll do after the conference is over is have that same kind of a watch party in person. So they'll like maybe have parents over to their house or maybe the school over at the school and they'll just, you know, watch one interview and then they have a discussion mm -hmm. about it. And so that's one of the things about the recordings is we encourage people to get a group together in person mm -hmm. to, to watch a recording and to, you know, so someone buy it and then get together in person and watch it together as a group because that's where real community is created is having that shared experience and being in person is a great way to do yes. that. Oh, Jason, I'm doing this and I'm going to encourage people in our community to do this as well. Thank you for that idea. And I don't know that I would have thought that that was okay, I guess, because it's not like everybody that shows up bought the recording, but yes, you guys talk really about that a little bit, just so that people know that it's okay to do it in person. We ask you not to share it online or to be able to okay. log in, because that's all personal to the, whoever purchased it. But, you know, to be in person, just like if I owned a movie and I wanted to share <laughs> it with people, I could get together and we could watch like a movie together as a parents and talk about that movie. It's the same thing. Oh, thank you thank you for that that's really great and then you even have so much more reach and helping parents because I really do believe that when we educate ourselves it, so many different things happen but we really are becoming better parents but our children are seeing us learn too so we're modeling that 
behavior because my kids know <laughs> they actually make fun of me. I listen to so many podcasts. I love podcasts. And as I started creating Homeschool Think Tank early on, I realized that I needed to work on my, my own emotions and um, my own mental game because I thought, boy, if I sort of wear my emotions on my sleeve, I think like many women do. And I thought, if I, I, I need to toughen up a little bit. And now I don't think I needed to toughen up. I just needed to be, have more awareness and have better skills. Let's put it that way. So, or yeah, I thought if I don't do this, I, I won't be cut out to lead the community that I want to lead. And so, yeah, so I, I just, I think self-education is so, so, so important. And I'm grateful that you guys are doing this. Um, and I just think that that is the work of parenting. What you just described mm -hmm. is what, uh, that is the process. That is the journey. Our children provide the curriculum. They provide continual opportunities for us to <laughs> look at ourselves and to, to decide, oh, who am I going to be today in this situation? I don't get to choose the situation, but I absolutely get to choose who I'm going to be. Am I going to be a mom that has some regulated emotions? Am I going to be a mom that is like, a hot mess and kind of like spews everything over everyone, I get to choose how I show up. And, um, and I think it's wonderful like to, for our children or in your case, even your business to provide you with like even a little extra motivation to become the parent, the person that, that you hope your kids are going to turn into. So I think it's wonderful that you're um, so embracing of that opportunity. And we're excited to be able to offer it for free. And uh, I think actually you have a special link for folks, for your folks. I do. To be able to I do. Sign up for it. People are probably wondering like, this sounds great and all, but where do I get <laughs> How it? How do I do it? So I think here's how to do it. And I'll share it at the beginning. I'll record a separate intro for this as well, but it'll be at homeschoolthinktank.com slash happily family. So homeschoolthinktank.com slash happily family. And you say it's like happily ever after to help people remember happily family. And uh, you guys 